Have you ever wondered who the first inhabitants of America were? Dr. Clyde Winters, a distinguished educator, anthropologist, and linguist, argues that they were black, or at least of partial black heritage. This is not a claim he makes lightly, but one that is backed by a considerable amount of DNA evidence. Diving into Dr. Winters' argument, we find it rooted in the debunking of a long-standing myth. This myth, perpetuated by many, including American cowboy movies, posits that the Native Americans were descendants of Mongoloid people from East Asia. However, Dr. Winters challenges this narrative with compelling DNA evidence. His argument is further bolstered by the DNA testing of famous black Americans. An interesting case is that of Oprah Winfrey, whose DNA testing revealed Native American ancestry. This discovery, initially met with skepticism due to Winfrey's dark skin, actually supports Dr. Winter's argument. He asserts that the majority of Native Americans that lived in the Eastern and Southeastern United States were, in fact, black Native Americans. Dr. Winters highlights the presence of certain haplogroups, specifically R1 and X, which are found in Africa, but are absent in Siberia. This further challenges the notion that Native Americans are descendants of East Asians. So, according to Dr. Winter, the DNA evidence strongly suggests an African origin of the first inhabitants of America. This revelation is not just a mere academic argument, but an opportunity to rewrite the narrative of human history and give credit where it is due. Now, let's unearth the past with bioarchaeology, the study of human and animal bones from archaeological sites. Dr. Clyde Winters, a renowned anthropologist and linguist, has made some compelling arguments using bioarchaeology. He suggests that physical anthropologists have unearthed skeletal remains that are far older than what was previously believed. These ancient bones challenge the conventional narrative that the first humans crossed the Bering Strait 12,000 years ago to enter the North American continent. From the icy expanse of Canada to the vibrant landscapes of Chile, Dr. Winters points to archaeological sites that bear evidence of human habitation ranging between 20,000 and 40,000 years old. These time frames dramatically predate the generally accepted timeline of human migration into the Americas. But the story doesn't end there. Dr. Winters also mentions evidence found in Brazil, a country known for its rich cultural diversity and history. Here, he says there are signs of Africans dating back a staggering 100,000 years. This discovery not only shatters the traditional timeline of human habitation in the Americas, but also suggests a far earlier presence of Africans in these lands. So, skeletal remains and archaeological sites tell a tale of an even earlier presence of Africans in America, according to Dr. Winter. Language can reveal a lot about a civilization's roots. What does it tell us about the first inhabitants of America? Dr. Clyde Winters argues that the language of the first inhabitants of America holds significant clues to their origins. He suggests that there are striking similarities between the language patterns and structures of these early inhabitants and those of African languages. This, he proposes, is a strong indication that the first people to tread on American soil were of African descent. Dr. Winter's linguistic studies delve into the intricate links between the languages of the first inhabitants and African languages. He identifies specific grammatical features and vocabulary that are shared, pointing towards a common linguistic root. These links aren't merely coincidental, they offer a compelling piece of the puzzle supporting his theory of the first inhabitants being black. It's not just about words, but also about the structure, the rhythm, the melody of the language. The similarities go beyond surface level, reaching into the very core of linguistic formation. These connections, Dr. Winters asserts, are a testament to the African heritage of the first inhabitants of America. Thus, if we listen closely, even the languages of the first inhabitants echo an African origin as per Dr. Winter's research. So what do these three pieces of evidence tell us about the first inhabitants of America? Dr. Winter's research compiles compelling DNA evidence, comprehensive bioarchaeological findings, and thorough linguistic studies to argue a persuasive case. Each strand of evidence weaves together a narrative that suggests an African origin of the initial settlers of America. In conclusion, Dr. Winter's research suggests that the first inhabitants of America were black, challenging the conventional understanding of American history. This journey through the hidden pieces of evidence that speaks to America's black past is only the beginning. Therefore, if this video captured your imagination, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for another video. Lastly, for more information about the names and subjects mentioned in this video, 
Get your copy of the Amazon best-selling book series, 19 White Men, who admitted there were indigenous black people in the Americas, and 13 Black Scholars Who Admitted There Were Black People in the Americas Before Columbus by Chase McGee. Link in the description. Stay curious and keep exploring.